CBS Atlanta News investigates the case of a 10 year old girl ordered to live with her father. She accused of abusing her. The judge came under fire for that ruling earlier this week, but tonight investigative reporter Jeff Cherico has uncovered new information about the court appointed officials who made that recommendation and how much money they're actually making. Jeff. Hey Bernard, we've obtained bills, 80% of which are being paid by the multimillionaire father. It shows a psychologist charged more than $27,000. A guardian billed more than $133,000 and the case doesn't go to trial for another month. So we wanted to know why has it cost so much? Can't right I'd like now. to talk this psychologist and this attorney who won't turn around, sir, refused to explain why they charged tens of thousands of dollars for their work on a custody case in Fulton County Court. If you can charge this money, why can't you explain it? Shame on you, Jeff Gover. On Monday, protesters rallied against Judge John Goger. Last month, he ordered a 10-year-old girl to live with her father, who had been twice arrested and accused of abusing her. Charges were dropped for lack of evidence. We're hiding the mother's identity to protect her child. I never, ever, ever thought that, that this kind of decision would be made. The judge made the order based on the recommendation of psychologist Howard Drutman, the custody evaluator, and attorney James Holmes, the guardian ad litem. According to court records, five assessments supported the girl's story of repeated molestation. Nonetheless, Drutman and Holmes reported the mother was subconsciously re-victimizing the daughter by not letting her progress past the abuse. In 10 months, Drutman's bill surpassed $27,000. He didn't return our messages, so we found him at his office. I'd like to talk with you. I'd like to talk you. Where he didn't want to answer questions about his fees or his decision. My name is Jeff Cherico. I'm with CBS Atlanta News. After attorney Holmes didn't return our calls, we found him at his mechanics. An email obtained by CBS Atlanta News shows Holmes has received more than $43,000, but has charged $133,000 for a year of work on this case. That's more than the $120,000 salary Judge Goger earned last year. Could you help me understand how you could charge $133,000 for one case? Holmes stood facing the garage wall until he left a few minutes later, avoiding our questions. They don't need to make that much money while they're preventing a child from being protected. At Monday's protest, Deb Beecham, the head of a resource center on custody issues, said she wonders whether money has influenced the decision. They brought in the right custody experts to manage the case, make the case more layered and complicated. So everybody's making a lot of money by sitting on the evidence. And some are questioning why Dr. Drutman was appointed to this case in the first place. According to a document filed by the wife's attorney, he has no significant specialized training in assessing or treating cases of sexual abuse. I reached out to Judge Goger's chambers within the hour. His assistant told me that he has no comment. Jeff Cherico, CBS Atlanta News.